let us identify the derivative of 2x squared minus 3 using the delta process. So we will be guided by the four-step process. And then after that, we're going to evaluate the derivative at x is equal to 2. Step 1 is to substitute any variable x in the equation with x plus delta x. So we'd be having f of x plus delta x is equal to so we're going to replace x plus delta x to the x variable in our given equation. This would be 2 times the square of x plus delta x is x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared minus 3. So we have 2x squared plus 4x delta x plus 2 delta x squared minus 3. Step 2 is to subtract the original equation from the current equation that we have in step 1. So we have f of x plus delta x minus f of x. So in step 1, we have 2x squared plus 4x delta x plus 2 delta x squared minus 3 minus the given function. So we have 2x squared minus 3. So to simplify, we have 2x squared plus 4x delta x plus 2 delta x squared minus 3. And we have minus 2x squared plus 3. Then we can cancel some terms. So we have 2x squared. We have 3. So what's left would be 4x delta x plus 2 delta x squared. Step 3 is to divide by delta x. So we have f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. So our answer here in step 2 is 4x delta x plus 2 delta x squared over delta x. Common factor in the numerator is delta x. So we have 4x plus 2 delta x over delta x. And then we can cancel delta x. So what's left is 4x plus 2 delta x. Step 4 is to find the limit as delta x approaches 0. So we have the limit of 4x plus 2 delta x, or our answer in step 3, as delta x approaches 0. So this would be 4x plus 2 times 0. Therefore, the derivative of the given function, 2x squared minus 3, is 4x. To evaluate the derivative at x is equal to 2, we just need to substitute 2 to the given value of x. So therefore, we have f prime of 2 is equal to 4 times 2. So the derivative at x is equal to 2 is 8. Let us find the derivative of x squared plus 2x minus 4 using the delta process. So we will be guided by the four-step process. So let's have step 1. We are going to have f of x plus delta x. So we're going to substitute x plus delta x to the x variable in our given function. So we have x plus delta x squared plus 2 times x plus delta x minus 4. So we have x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus 2x plus 2 
delta x minus 4. Step 2 is we're going to subtract f of x from our answer in step 1. So we have f of x plus delta x minus f of x. So our answer in step 1 is x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus 2x plus 2 delta x minus 4 minus our given function. So I have x squared plus 2x minus 4. So simplifying, we have x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus 2x plus 2 delta x minus 4. We have minus x squared minus 2x plus 4. So we can cancel some of the terms. We can cancel x squared, 2x, and 4. So what we have would be 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus 2 delta x. For step 3, we're going to divide our answer in step 2 by delta x. So we have f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. So we have 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus 2 delta x over delta x. So factoring out delta x from our numerator, we have delta x times 2x plus delta x plus 2 over delta x. And then we can cancel delta x here. So we have 2x plus delta x plus 2. For step 4, we're going to find the limit as delta x approaches 0. So we have the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x as delta x approaches 0. So we have our answer in step 3 and we need to get the limit as delta x approaches 0. So we have 2x plus 0 because this is delta x approaches 0 plus 2. Therefore, f prime of x, or the derivative of x squared plus 2x minus 4, is 2x plus 2. So let us now find the derivative of the rational function 3x plus 2 over x plus 1 using the four-step process or the delta process. First, let us have f of x plus delta x. So we're going to substitute any variable x in the equation with x plus delta x. We have 3 times x plus delta x plus 2 over x plus delta x plus 1. Simplifying, we have 3x plus 3 delta x plus 2 over x plus delta x plus 1. Step 2, we're going to subtract the original equation, which is f of x, from our answer in step 1. So we're going to do f of x plus delta x minus f of x. Doing this, we're just going to copy our answer in step 1. So it would be x plus 3 delta x plus 2 over x plus delta x plus 1 minus our f of x, which is 3x plus 2 over x plus 1. Performing the indicated operation, we can have the LCD of our denominator. So we have x plus delta x plus 1 
times x plus 1. So we have this denominator divided by x plus delta x plus 1. We have x plus 1 times the numerator here. Or we're just going to do cross multiplication. So doing that, we have 3x plus 3 delta x plus 2 times x plus 1 minus 3x plus 2 times x plus delta x plus 1. And then multiplying the factors here, we would be having 3x squared. So we have 3x times x and then 3x times 1. So that would be plus 3x. Then we have 3 delta x times x and 3 delta x times 1. So we have plus 3x delta x plus 3 delta x. Next we have 2 times x and then 2 times 1. So we have 2x plus 2. Next would be 3x times x and our negative one here. So we would be having minus 3x squared minus 3x delta x minus 3x. And we have 2 times x, 2 times delta x, and 2 times 1. And do not forget to multiply it to negative 1. So we have negative 2x minus 2 delta x minus 2 over our denominator. So we have x plus delta x plus 1 times x plus 1. Simplifying, we can cancel some terms, and we have here 3x squared will be cancelled, 3x would also be cancelled, 3x delta x, 2 would also be cancelled, and 2x. So what we have now is 3 delta x minus 2 delta x over x plus delta x plus 1 times x plus 1. And simplifying, 3 delta x minus 2 delta x is delta x over our denominator. So for step 3, we're going to divide our answer in step 2 by delta x. So we have f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. So from our answer in step 3, that would be delta x over x plus delta x plus 1 over x plus 1 divided by delta x. Factoring out delta x from our numerator, we have delta x times 1 over x plus delta x plus 1 times x plus 1 over delta x. And we can cancel delta x. So what we have now is 1 over the product of x plus delta x plus 1 and x plus 1. For step 4, we're going to find the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x as delta x approaches 0. So from our answer in step 3, we're going to get the limit as delta x approaches 0. So to evaluate, we are going to have 1 over x plus 0, because delta x approaches 0, plus 1 over x plus 1. And therefore, 
f prime of x is equal to 1 over the square of x plus 1. So let us find the derivative of the square root of 3x minus 1 using the delta process. So for step 1, let us have f of x plus delta x. Well, we're going to substitute any variable x in the equation with x plus delta x. So this would be the square root of 3 times x plus delta x minus 1. And we have 3x plus 3 delta x minus 1. For step 2, we're going to subtract f of x from our answer in step 1. So you have f of x plus delta x minus f of x. So let us copy our answer in step 1. 3x plus 3 delta x minus 1 minus the given function which is the square root of 3x minus 1. Step 3 is to divide our answer in step 2 by delta x. So this will be f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. So this would be the square root of 3x plus 3 delta x minus 1 minus the square root of 3x minus 1 over delta x. We're going to multiply this by its conjugate, so that would be the square root of 3x plus 3 delta x minus 1 plus the square root of 3x minus 1 over whatever numerator that we have. It would be also our denominator. This would be the product of the sum and difference of two binomials. So by special products, we have the square of the square root of 3x plus 3 delta x minus 1 minus the square of the square root of 3x minus 1 over delta x times the square root of 3x plus 3 delta x minus 1 plus the square root of 3x minus 1. So simplifying, the numerator would be 3x plus 3 delta x minus 1 minus 3x minus 1. The square root would be cancel over our denominator. Simplifying our numerator, we have 3x plus 3 delta x minus 1 minus 3x plus 1. So we need to multiply negative 1 to our 3x minus 1 over our denominator. So 3x would be cancelled, same with 1 here. So what's left would be 3 delta x over delta x times the square root of dx plus 3 delta x minus 1 plus the square root of 3x minus 1. And delta x would be cancelled. So what we have now would be 3 in the numerator and this would be your denominator. For step 4, we're going to find the limit of our answer in step 3 as delta x approaches 0. So that would be the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x as delta x approaches 0 of 3 over the square root of 3x plus 3 delta x minus 1 plus the square root of 3x minus 1. So this would be the limit as delta x approaches 0. 
And then substituting 0 to our delta x, we have 3 over. If this would be 0, what's left is square root of 3x minus 1 plus square root of 3x minus 1. So this would be 3 times 0. Therefore, f prime of x, or the derivative of the square root of 3x minus 1 is equal to 3 over 2 square root of 3x minus 1.